So, why are you here on the planet and are you living out your soul's purpose? Yes, everyone can live out their soul's purpose, but first they have to know what is the soul and what the soul is part of. Then you can understand how you fit in and what you should be doing in life. Otherwise, as I said tonight, you can be like a moth flying into the fire. The moth has a purpose as it flies into the fire. Before we can understand what our purpose in life is, we have to understand what we are. Am I material or am I spiritual? If I'm more than just matter, then I should be considering my spiritual development. And if I think I'm just matter, then nothing matters. As one of your fellow countrymen said, Stephen Hawking, just face it, we're simply chemical scum on a moderate-sized planet. Yes. Chemical scum. Come on a moderate It's stuff. severe. It's <laughs> severe, but um, I believe that it's it's true, but that we better keep that quiet. <laughs> we better keep that quiet. Now, you don't really believe that. You're just fully yeah, matter. I know. Yeah. This body that you have, mm -hmm. what is it and what does it consist of in its muscles, in its cells, in your mind, in its brain, in your brain? What, what are you consisting of and where would you place the soul in this body? You read in Bhagavad Gita, the basic information, that you have a gross body of physiology and you have a subtle body, sometimes known as an astral body, of mind, intelligence and false ego. So your real self, the Atma, that tiny particle of spiritual consciousness actually has nothing to do with your material coverings. But you imagine there's a connection by the functioning of your false ego, which hallucinates. It imagines that you are part of the matrix of illusion. <laughs> so what Krishna tries to do in Bhagavad Gita is to purify that false ego so you no longer misidentify with matter. All your troubles come from that misidentification. You're dreaming, you're hallucinating, you're in the matrix of illusion. How to get out of that matrix? Yes. <laughs> so how do we get out of the matrix? In the bhakti process, the prime method is the Hare Krishna mantra, sound vibration. The wrong kind of sound vibration will condition you to material life. It'll fill your consciousness with plans for material exploitation slash enjoyment. The right kind of sound vibration will free your mind from material entanglement. Indeed, the word mantra literally means in Sanskrit, the sound that can free your mind from material illusion. So, the prime basis of bhakti yoga is spiritual sound vibration. And the Hare Krishna mantra can indeed sever your connection to illusion and revive your attachment to Krishna. And then in Bhagavad Gita you learn how both the illusion and the reality emanate from the same source. So if you take your information from that source of both the illusion and the spiritual reality, then you're in good shape, especially when you apply that knowledge in action. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, 